Stocks clearly treading water as we gear up, as Four mentioned, for this busy week of earnings. One third of the S&P 500 is reporting results. That includes for tech titans, Alphabet, Microsoft, Meta, and Amazon. So what's at stake as we kick off this monster week? Joe, I will turn to you first since you are sitting right next to me. I mean, there is so much at stake right now. We're just treading water, trying to make sense of where we're going. What's top of your radar? Well, I mean, the market is basically sitting above 4,100. It's been doing that since the early part of April. And you're right. This is a huge week because now you have the potential catalyst that comes in the form of earnings, in particular for the mega caps. So Microsoft, Alphabet, they'll be reporting, obviously, tomorrow. That's the catalyst. That's what moves the market technically towards 4,200 and tests the upper end of the range. And I think that's what this is all about. You've been in a range between 3,800 and 4,200 since November. We're seeing Seeing if we can kind of break out of that range or not. And this is the moment. These are the stocks that if you are going to break out of 4,200, they're the ones that are going to do it. Meta on Wednesday, Amazon on Thursday. If we do not have those stocks act as the catalyst to get mm -hmm. us above 4,200, we fall right back into that very troubling range between 3,800 and 4,200. And we're going to dig in more to those technicals, too, in a little bit. Uh, Steve, you know, a lot of these names, of course, yes, they're all mega cap tech, but they have their own stories. They've got a lot going on percolating under the surface. Is there anything in particular we need to watch for one by one, or is there a theme that we need to make sure to follow through for each of these names as they were well, uh, You know, I, I don't expect them to miss necessarily because they missed last quarter. So how often do they miss two quarters in a row? But if you look underneath, uh, what, what we'll be looking for is what's happening with the cloud. Have you seen the, the growth, which is slowed down, either flatten or move higher? I don't suspect you will because of the economy. So it's been economically related, the slowdown we've seen. it. So that's not going to work. Then you look at the ad spend. So the ad spend, at least for Amazon in part, but Meta and Alphabet, uh, that's important. They're important drivers. Uh, I don't expect to see a pickup there either. So what they're going to talk about is the efficiency from headcount reductions, except for Alphabet, which really hasn't had a lot. And actually, neither is Microsoft. So are they truly more efficient or are their ratios, financial ratios, going to be subpar? Look, I think they can do OK, but what it's going to do, it's going to tell you the economy's not doing so great. Mm. That's my bet. So there's always an appetite for these stocks. I think what you're seeing today and what you've seen recently with NASDAQ selling off somewhat is that not a lot somewhat uh, is that people made a lot of money buying these safety going in there. Now they're wondering, should I take money off the table or not? So I think it's going to be a very interesting week. It's not really going to change my narrative, though, in terms of saying the economy is going into recession. Hmm. Brent, you're invested here in some of these names, some of these big mega cap names. As Weiss pointed out, of course, the Nasdaq is down about eight tenths of a percent. Is that sort of a vote as to what may be happening when these names report? What is going to be important for you to stay invested in some of these mega cap stocks? Well, I mean, I own, from an individual security perspective, Microsoft, Apple, and, and NVIDIA, which, which is not on the, on the call this week. But here's, here's what's interesting, though. I think to, to kind of dig in deeper to what Steve was talking about, you know, within the cloud, which really is Amazon and Microsoft. The Google Cloud is only 9% of revenues they lose money on it, and it's actually 25% of their workforce. But I think the Amazon, the enterprise from the cloud on both companies will be really important about the economy at the enterprise, at the company level. But to me, what's going to be interesting, I think the wild card, if I had to look at the four companies reporting, I would say Amazon, to me, is the biggest wild card. It's been down eight out of the last 10 quarters. And it has missed earnings and revenue forecast seven out of the last eight times and actually reduced with the last five. So Amazon going into its quarter, the last 10 quarters, has not been a good stock to, let's say you want to speculate and buy it today thinking it's going to bounce. That to me is still the biggest wild card because I do think Andy Jassy has been really clear. They had so much CapEx spending during COVID, they're still digesting that and they're still spending. But I think overall the referendum, if you look at the first quarter in April, Amazon's up 27, Apple's up 27, Microsoft and Google are up 20 and you know Facebook um, or Meta even more so. So I think the referendum is the first five weeks or the first quarter in, in April has been so positive. But I think the majority of the returns for these stocks 
have been earned in this first quarter. And I don't think we're going to see big surprises, especially, Courtney, since the dollar has weakened, all of these companies, Microsoft and Apple in particular, talked last quarter about the FX headwind. That will be a tailwind, I think, for sure on the first quarter. Hmm. Those are really good points. And it's interesting, too, to talk about where they've gone or where how far they've come, really. If you look at the technology stocks compared, Joe, to the S&P 500, really outperforming. I think the most since I read a stats, what, since 2009, when it comes to the outperformance since the beginning of the year. And there was a significant um, under the positioning was well below what the uh, market targets were for a lot of portfolio managers. So if you think about where we came into this year, technology was held at an underweight. Mm -hmm. You didn't have that type of positioning really since the great financial crisis.